What up, y'all? Today's plan was to go to Providence Park. This is the stadium where our soccer team plays. It's a 10 minute walk from where I'm at right now. Figured along the way, take some photos, whatever catches my eye. Cause you know, this is a POV video for Portland. So hope y'all enjoy. For the first photos of the day, I decided to take a picture of this street. Because some cool leading lines leading off to the trees in the background. There's also a dude on his bike. Looks pretty cool. Didn't really bother cropping it. I just kind of wanted to give it a, a, an as shot feel. So, yeah. So cold. Second photo of the day was this building. I'm hoping there wasn't no apartment or some duplex or anything like that. It just gave me a cool vintage feel. You know, the sunlight was hitting it nicely, neatly. Next, I don't know why, but I just been like eight minutes trying to take a decent photo of this bike, but all the photos came out out of focus. Yeah, Joe peep the kicks. I don't know why I had chucks on. It was cold. My toes were frozen. Some Portland things, I guess. That's a Portland thing. This is building to the right. Um, the blue one. And it had the orange big building in the back with the trees. I don't know. It looked cool. Uh, red, green, blue, I suppose. They didn't get too close. I thought it was someone's house. I'm like, ah, again, I don't want to be no creep. Looking like a federal agent or something. But this is actually one of my favorite photos of the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next, I cross the street. You know I have to look left and right. Make sure the coast is clear. Uh, you know, you just gotta be aware of your surroundings while walking in downtown. I saw a little lamp. You know, it's a lamp. But no, nah, I look antique, I look vintage again. You know, give me uh, Harry Potter vibes, Hogwarts. Hogwarts right there. No offense, I ain't, I'm not trying to trigger nobody, but that's what it reminds me of. It's just association in my brain. Right here, I didn't have a photo taken of nothing really. I kind of just like the footage. I made it to the end of this street right there where that car just passed. Yeah, nothing much room. Give you a sense of direction. I do need to zoom in. Made it to this main street. Very busy street. I saw this cool tree. Full of leaves hanging over the road. So I was just kind of waiting for a car to kind of frame up underneath it. Pretty cool photo. I always sit here and wait in the cold. This white, uh, what is that? BMW? I think it is. I don't know. I don't know cars like that. I saw this massive tree with beautiful leaves on it, but it was so massive I was struggling on what to do with it. So my first attempt was just take a picture of this branch full of leaves. Very nice, very nice. And yeah, right here I was just thinking, I'm like, how do I take a picture of this damn tree? I cut this part out, but I went in the parking lot to the right. I went to the far back, try to get a try to get this tree in frame, but it was just so massive, man. I saw a leaf just directly above me hanging pretty low. It was pretty big, so we did that instead. Ooh, it's a leaf. It's a leaf. Now walking underneath the sidewalk bridge. Portland has been very busy with construction as of late. A lot of closed sidewalks, a lot of closed streets, so traffic sucks. Not fun. I take a left right here and on my right down the street, I noticed a barber shop that really caught my eye. It looked very retro, looked unique. The separation between the buildings was cool. 
you know at this point i was getting very comfortable so i didn't care if nobody was looking at me through uh the barber chair looking like a federal agent and yet right here this is probably my favorite photo of the day sounds fun I saw this building, cool shadow at the base, kind of split it between light and dark, and also made it uh, look more massive and tall. Decided to take a picture of it. Yeah. Couple steps back. Nice, decent, I like it. That was fun. Moving along, I noticed this house to the right surrounded by these trees. Looked very magical, looked very vintage and antique. Loved the roof of it. You don't see those too often. Take a picture of the same house, but this time I wanted this lady to get in frame. So where the sunlight is at, nice. And attempted to get a third pick, but this time with the lady in black crossing, but these cars were in the way. And I had like two missed opportunities right here. Miss. Ooh, miss. Ooh, Chuck Taylors. In the cold. Right here it was awkward because if you notice the sky all the way down there and the sunlight underneath that tree, it was a homeless man, but the whole time he was yelling at me and staring at me, thinking I was taking photos of him. I was just trying to take a picture of this cathedral, church, cemetery, I don't know what this place was. It looked cool, it looked creepy. There was a crow on top of the, the, the roof. Maybe it was a bad omen. Yeah, his friends joined. This next part of the clip, my GoPro dies as I'm crossing the street, but we finally made it to Providence Park. So I took some photos still of the building, which is just commentary on that. This is the entrance to the Providence Park where, you know, the timbers and the thorns play. That's our women and male soccer teams. A quick peek inside the stadium. You can only imagine how truly massive it is. My friends and I attended a timbers game about two years ago. None of us know nothing about soccer, they're free, but we quickly learned they had some of the most passionate fans, they're all singing these songs, everybody was drinking, we're chopping trees down after every goal, we scored like three goals or something like that, we got the dub, I want to go back. I'm guessing here's where they scan the tickets and lines are held to enter, I don't remember going through this way, but it was a while ago, so who knows, I think so, it looks like it, or the backside of the stadium, and yeah, that's my last photo of the day was my pov portland video during the fall hope y'all enjoyed that um portland is definitely at its greatest during the fall i just love it because we got tons of trees and they produce these vibrant beautiful leaves on them you'll see them everywhere in the city in every neighborhood down every street You're bound to see a beautiful tree and uh, uh, the thing that i love most about the fall is that it gets super cold and crisp outside and you can finally like layer up your outfit like i love layering with my clothes i love wearing a hoodie underneath damn near every jacket you know i wore chuck taylor's today but that's common around here you just gotta keep your upper body warm your legs and you know what i mean i'm only not wearing shorts but some people still wear shorts during the fall but hope you enjoyed that like comment subscribe drop a comment tell me what was your favorite part of the video or your favorite photo you should come in if you're feeling good come follow me on instagram at jlg from the 503 same as my youtube um, either way, I appreciate the love. Thank you.